Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can remote onto a Linux machine using Windows. Now, I am using MX Linux and I'm using the KDE version. And when I got to the boot menu, I chose the System D uh, option for MX Linux because I prefer using System D. So, uh, if you're using Ubuntu, this will work for you as well. Uh, if you're using a lot of other versions of Linux this should work but this will give you an idea of what you need to install to be able to remote onto a Linux PC from Windows. So first thing you need to do is open a terminal uh, in most Linux distributions you can do this using Control Alt and T and that will bring up a terminal but you should be able to find it in the menu for whichever Linux distribution you are using and the command for installing software in Debian based systems like MX Linux and Ubuntu is sudo apt install and it's xrdp if you're using Fedora or you're using Arch uh, use the package manager that comes with your system uh, but essentially the package you're looking for is xrdp and type in the password And then you clear the screen and you want to type sudo system control enable xrdp and then sudo system control start xrdp and that now you're in a position to use um, RDP. Now if you've got a firewall set up you might need to adjust the firewall and you need to type sudo ufw allow 3389 and that opens the port um, to enable you to remote onto the machine like that and you can see it says rule added. Before we move over to the other machine we do need our IP address and we can do that within the terminal type IP space ADDR and then the number you are looking for is this one here as 192.168.1.196 so that's the number we are looking for uh, there's one more thing actually you need to do before you can remote onto your machine you need to set up an accession file so I'm going to paste in the command that you need here it's um, I'm using KDE so what you do is you say echo space and then start plasma x11 and you output it to your .x session file like this and then you do change mod plus x and then you do uh, again tilde forward slash .x session and now you should be set up to be able to remote on to your Linux machine now one of the common things that will happen when you uh, RDP for the first time is you'll get a blue screen and there's many different ways of fixing this. Um, I'm going to show you the way that works for MX Linux. Uh, in theory you should only have to install XRDP but for MX Linux that's not the case so if we open up a terminal you also have to install sudo apt install xorg xrdp and then you enter the password And that's all you need to do for MX Linux. After you've done everything, what I recommend is sudo system control restart xrdp, like that. Uh, and now you should be able to RDP into the machine of your choice. So here we are in Windows, and I've put up remote desktop connection. All you have to do is press the start button and type RDP. That will bring that up and you just click the icon there and that takes you to here and I've put in the IP address if I click connect you get this warning select yes enter your username and password press return and there you can see I'm logged in now it's got a policy kit agent thing come up I'm just going to enter the password and we are in and now I'm able to use my MX Linux computer as if I am on it and I am technically on it I've just remoted onto the computer 
And that is the end of the video. There's a couple of points to note. Now, whilst making this video, uh, it took me a few attempts to get it working. So the first time I, I ran it, uh, I got a blue screen. And that's the bit where I added the um, installation for Xorg to XRDP, which I showed you there. And also uh, I got a black screen. And that's where I added the start KDE to the X session thing so uh, it was a bit of trial and error but that's how I got it working so I've tried to summarize this video in the steps that I've taken before showing you the uh, Windows login I could have showed you every Windows login along the way uh, but this video would have been a little bit longer in a future video I'm going to show you other ways that you can remote onto your Linux computer and how you can remote onto your Windows computer from your Linux computer and that's the end of the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on everyday Linux user